Thank you so much, Natalia, and thank you for the invitation. It's really great to see you again, Takashi. Um, and, and I wanted to start, so as Natalia said, you have a very multifaceted practice, sometimes almost a dizzying array of practices, I think. You're an artist yourself, of course. You're a filmmaker, you're a curator, an art collector. Um, I'm going to say in advance here, if I mispronounce certain words that I'm going to attempt to say, please um, forgive me. <clears throat> um, otaku, uh, representative or participant. Um, you are a um, musician, sometime a cafe owner. <laughs> there is a there is a, a, a quite um, quite dizzying array of activities that you've engaged in as, to my mind, um, part of one practice, a multi-tentacled practice. Um, so I was thinking of you, I think, uh, as I mentioned earlier to you, I think I thought of you earlier this year because an artist that I know here in New York, her name is Jamie and Giuliano Villani, started a gallery called O'Flaherty's here in town. And I asked her, why did you open a gallery? You're an artist yourself. What was the urge to open a gallery? And she said, because I have to. Um, art is my life. And if there's nothing inspiring, I'll make it up. So I wondered what inspired you to open Kaike Kiki Gallery in 2008? Oh, it's a fast question? Yeah. Okay, so by the way, so I want to introduce to you guys uh, Yuko Sakata is uh, my translation and uh, she was uh, you know, over 20 years to working with me every day. <laughs> so, and uh, maybe in uh, very precisely the English is not good for the explain everything. So I need uh, help from the Yuko, okay? And uh, so you, your question is that 2008, uh, why? So I opened the gallery, right? Yeah, so you have, yeah. it's a starting point because I'm gonna ask okay. you about different parts of your practice, but for Kaike Kiki specifically, what 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 inspired you to open Kaike Kiki? Yeah, okay, because uh, like uh, before, uh, so me or Nara, was debut in US, uh, who was a uh, debut in the US, like mostly the New York art scene was Onkawara, Shusaku Arakawa, something like that, right? It's very few artists. Because uh, the New York art uh, community is a very tight, very small gate. That's why uh, the Japanese people, Japanese artists was uh, gave up before you know, touch down uh, in, uh, in front of the gate. So, but uh, I believed uh, in Japan has a lot of potential in the artists. That's, but uh, you know, technically, so these guys, uh, basically artists is, uh, you know, communication, you know, missing. It's a uh, lost in communication, everything, right? That's why they making for the painting or sculptures. And then uh, I want to introduce to using for the my gate to the Western world. So that's, uh, that, that is uh, what is a, uh, you know, a uh, very uh, easy way is a gallery. I thought that's why. So I was, you know, starting for the gallery. But uh, by the way, you know, you know, I cannot say the gallery business because I lose a lot of money in a gallery project, you know, just losing money still until now. It's a, uh, you know, this is a reality. It, but I don't want to say that brand here because, uh, you know, I still believe to the getting for the, some potential uh, in uh, business. So, but, you know, very difficult still until now. <laughs> what keeps you determined to keep doing it if, if, if that's the case? Yeah, it's kind of that uh, because, uh, you, know, you know, Asian territory is still very, you know, few uh, possibility to the internationally, you know, become to the artist. 
So because uh, New York is uh, one of the big capital in the art world. So, you know, Andrea san is also the, uh, you live in New York long time, right? When yes. you born in Yeah, my whole life. York. That's why, mm -hmm. yeah, that's why you can make a navigate in uh, what is uh, art world. So, but the uh, Asian people very, you know, uh, touch with uh, what is, uh, you know, core part with uh, New York art scene, but uh, super few artists can do, you know, this is my purpose, I think, in the Asian territory. That's why. Okay, so let's rewind. Speaking of that, let's rewind then to you in New York. You arrive in New York <clears throat> and I've, and you said, you've said that you gave yourself a year to get a show in a gallery in New York. Is that right? この and I have no good technique. That's why I am watching to the, looks like a fishing, right? So like, uh, where is a good fish? Where is a good mood? So, and then I was just, you know, watching and every day go around in the uh, Soho, uh, Soho area. That moment was, uh, Soho was a center of the art, you know, community, the gallery community. And then one day, uh, I, I forgot the full name, but, uh, some French uh, gallerist, uh, the Xavier someone, Xavier someone. So who works uh, in uh, Max Protech Gallery? The Max Protech Gallery was a, a presentation for the you know architecture designers' drawings, the mostly. And then uh, the, this uh, Xavier san uh, asked us, ask me, uh, you are interested in to showing for the uh, uh, the Max Protech Gallery in the drawings because the kind of the drawing stuff. But, you know, in Japanese artists, no one knows that Max Protechi Gallery is that, what is that? So without me, so like Japanese artists or Asian artists looking for the kind of the famous gallery, you know, first. That's why, you know, no one knows the name is uh, very fear about the touch with uh, mm. contact. So, but I was, you know, uh, uh, because I have a, I need a chance. That's why I can say yes immediately. So kind of the, you know, something like that, the communication point is a, a little bit different, I think. That's why I can debut in a New York City. Yeah, you said, you've also said once that you showed then with the very, well, legendary, now legendary, um, art gallerist Hudson of Future mm -hmm. Inc. Mm -hmm. And you said that when he first sold your work for the first time, he took you out to dinner and mm -hmm. said, today your work sold for the first time, which, we, which means we both benefited. And this is how the relationship between a gallery and an artist is nurtured. So I'm also wondering, how has that idea influenced your approach to running a gallery and acting as a gallerist now? Okay. So I was very lucky uh, thing is uh, you said uh, I, when I meet with a very serious business starting point, it was uh, featuring Mr. Hudson. So this episode is very important because he explained me about uh, in detail in uh, money flow. Uh, uh, how much, it, because you know, first, uh, first sales at the uh, kind of the human scale, figurative uh, plastic model. The, like a female model. So that was a uh, shipping cost and uh, production cost is looks like almost uh, $20,000 $20, at the moment. So, and then uh, uh, Hudson was uh, auditing for the another $8,000. That means like uh, $28,000 in a uh, you know, retail price. But uh, he was money back to me to you know uh twenty twenty thousand dollar so and then share with the eight thousand dollar is fifty fifty so very you know kind uh, and also the he said 
you know, we, uh, the gallery have to support to the young artist. And that's why, you know, uh, uh, the, your price is to say the collector, $8,000. So, but uh, you have to respond to the another $20,000 is, uh, this is a production cost. So looks like uh, I was so surprised because uh, this guy was so, you know, crystal clear to explain me in, uh, you know, kind of system. So that's why I can believe, you know, Mr. Hudson. And uh, I can believe in uh, New York art scene. So, and then uh, he was very quick response to pay for me. So everything is, uh, you know, good teaching. And uh, this is a good model. <clears throat> right now is uh, when I uh, making for the debut with a young artist, it not exactly the same system. So, because, uh, you know, I cannot say, you know, 28,000 dollars price or, uh, or how can I say retail price is $28,000 can say $8,000 is not difficult. This is a very difficult to explain for the, my client to, to the you know, announcement. That's why, you know, like kind of the production cost and uh, you know, 50, 50, the system inside is all, uh, the same thing, but uh, for the client is uh, completely different. The announcement, like uh, I, I can say just, you know, $28,000. Right. So, but uh, kind of the communication with artists is, uh, you know, almost his way until now. So that means like uh, he, he gave me the, the model with the communication. Mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in general, I'm also curious because you've had yourself as an artist relationships, not only with Hudson and Feature Inc., but then uh, currently with Perrotin Gallery and with Gagosian. Um, I'm curious how your relationships with different galleries have informed your own approach as a gallerist, your style, mm, your Yeah, it's a, technology. I don't know, it's kind of, uh, you know, making for the, like, if, I don't know, okay, so firstly, the gallerist asked me, that's why I can go to the gallery. I, I was not to approach from me. So anytime to, from, from the gallerist, that is a very simple and uh, propose to me and then I can say yes. So that process is, uh, you know, these two galleries. And do you feel like when you're in the other, when you're in the opposite position, when you're the person inviting an artist, Yes. Does that, how does that change the way that you interact with the, with the artist, with the work? えっと、村上さんがあのギャラリストとしてアーティストと関わるときっていうのはその、そのギャラリーとやってきた関係の経験っていうのはどういうふうにそれに影響を与えてますかうーん、OK。Uh, big effective thing is,、uh, you know, I cannot waiting for the long time to pay payment. So sometimes to payment is a super long time because the gallery gallery people is waiting from the client payment. Yeah. But the young artist is uh you know anytime to very hungry. So because they have a big potential to create for something new thing new thing. That's why if I, I was、uh, deciding for the, okay, this piece was sold and the client、uh, will not pay for that, this is a sold, mean like I pay for the artist. So I don't want to make a, you know, a wa wasting time with a young artist. That is, a, you know,、uh, came from the, my experience. I, you know, I still having、uh, something like that experience, but,、uh, you know, Super expensive price, like、uh, several million dollars, is it's, it's, this is a logic. But、uh, you know,、uh, looks like ten thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollar is not you know good way for the young artist. I think that's why、mm. you know very quick response is、uh, my philosophy. I see. So it's it's informed really how you deal with how you interact with the viewer and with the clients in a way、um, more than with than with the artists. Like the change、right. is the way you relate to、um, the viewers and the, and the clients, but the way you relate to the artists has stayed the same. 
ていうこと。あのご自身ご自身がアーティストと関わる関わり方っていうのはあまり変わってきていなくて、うん、そのアーティストアートを見る側とか売る売る側あのあ買う側に対しての関係っていうのがこう展開で変わってきていますか。うーん。まあまあ、僕的には今もやっぱりこうだんだん売るのをやっぱあんま得意じゃないと思い始めたんで逆にあのアーティストを見つけてそれをインキュベーションする方に今向かってるんでまあ,あのそのインキュベーションとか発見してコミュニケーションを取るやり方っていうのは昔よりも随分あのテクニックは技術力は上がってると思います。So, um... In terms of、uh, what's changed, <clears throat> that I've started to realize that I'm really not good at selling. So I'm now focusing on、um, finding, discovering artists and incubating、uh, their potential. So、um, I think、I'm, my techniques are getting better at discovering artists and communicating with them. So it's so really about nurturing, nurturing the artist in that way. And then I see, and kind of like a guardian in a way. Sort of protecting the artist in a certain way from.、Uh, no, no, not the guardian. Like just a kind of the, I don't know. It's a, okay. So I love the one of the movie, like a Moneyball. It's a、mm -hmm. Moneyball. very,、okay. yeah, yeah, very drastic to the money thing in, a, you know, who is a talent, right? Yeah. It's a, it the guy, it looks like that. that that's why it's a, anytime to the mixing, is the chaotic in my head. Got it. Okay. Um, all right. So I also, you've kind of answered this question. So,、uh, so I'm actually still interested. 